It's weird that it is, I think, a family show in the most bizarre sense of the word. But when you guys get the, the scripts from, from Genji and the writers, <laughs> have there ever been any of the things that are going to come out of your mouth that you have just said, oh my god, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I had a lot of problems, uh, to be honest with you. There were some times when I flat out sort of walked into the office and said, I don't know how to say something. I can't remember saying it. I don't know how to say it. Um, a lot of it having to do with issues that I felt were so cutting edge and so on the line and so um, walking that fine line between extremely dangerous and brilliant. And Genji would constantly turn to me and say, you have to trust me. You have to trust me. And for an actor, you're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you haven't heard that a million times before. Um, so yeah, there were times, particularly when I was dealing with the, the issue of breast cancer, which <clears throat> is intrinsically unfunny. It's probably the most unfunny thing next to the Holocaust. Um, which we made fun of. Which we also Yeah, we did a joke. <laughs> um, and there were, there were definitely times when, when I felt that I was sort of walking that very fine line. I was really scared. Really, really scared. Um, but I think when you're doing things that are socially relevant and that are going to push a lot of buttons, as a performer, you're going to be petrified. Because you don't, like I said, there's a fine line between being offensive and being socially relevant. And um, sometimes being offensive can be socially relevant. So there's, it's, it's, a, it's a hard place sometimes as a performer to be when you're, you're not sure, you know, if I jump off this cliff, is she going to catch me? And, catch and, she <laughs> and I know that she, she felt that way a lot as well. If I jump off this cliff, are my actors going to catch me? So I think, um, yeah, it was really, there are some scary times when you're dealing with, particularly for me with the breast cancer, that was, that was a really difficult line to walk. Have you, uh, have you heard much feedback from people, from people that have, been, have experienced They loved it. Kind of, yeah. yeah. They loved it. They, um, because you're able to turn something that is so devastating and so, um, as I said, relevant, into, to bring the humor into that and, and to look at it from a different place that may not be of the norm, a lot of people appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's nice to know if you have the misfortune of being diagnosed with cancer that it won't just be a lifetime movie. It might be a really fun Showtime <laughs> right, right. series as well. Right.